YouTube, new deck type review. I have no experience with this deck type coming in this box. It is called Christron. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. Christron deck type. We have an ultra rare synchro, an ultra rare monster, a super rare, and a super rare. Let's get into the deck type. This is a big deck type from the new box. In the TCG, it's topped one time, and when it topped, it used cards like Iron Call. Smoke Grenade could be a good idea since the deck does destroy your own cards. You could destroy this, look at your opponent's hand, discard, transmodify, different dimension, deep sea trench. So just look at these on your own time and think about using them with the deck potentially. We are only missing five cards. The cards that are highlighted in red are the only missing cards, so we have a whole lot of Christrons. The expense of the deck, you're probably gonna want to play two to three sulfonir even though it is the core card of the deck you're gonna play zero to one of the ultra rare synchro i would say you want three citri and three smiger so kind of an expensive deck this deck is all about synchro shokan your core card being christron sulfonir if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you must discard a Christron monster from your hand to summon it onto the field. It must not be a Sulfonir, unfortunately. Then, after special summoned, you destroy itself. And when it destroys itself, or if destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy any card you control, by the way, it will special summon a Christron monster from your deck in defense position. So what's the combo? You're going to summon Sulfonir. I'll explain these cards in a bit. Then you're going to destroy itself to summon Smiger. Then Smiger is going to target itself to destroy itself to summon Citri. And then on your opponent's turn, you're going to use Citri on the field by its lonesome self, just Citri on the field, to special summon Smiger in the main phase or battle phase of your opponent's turn, to then immediately Synchro Shokan into a Christron Amatrix. Christron Amatrix is a 2500 attack. If they're going in hot on you, triple Blue Eyes White Dragon, all of them are attacking into you with your Citri only. You could summon an Amatrix, put all Blue Eyes White Dragons into defense. Halt! I don't think so, Kai! Also, if destroyed by battle or card effect, Amatrex can re-special summon the Sulfonir on the field and do the combo all over again. So very powerful. All of this, this Amatrex is just from Sulfonir. So as I have written here, ultimately, it just leads into an Amatrex being summoned on the opponent's turn, changing their monsters to defense. Now, how do we make this more consistent? We could play Scrap Recycler and or Undyne. Both of these cards will send the Sulfonir from the deck to the grave. Perfect. Perfect. So a very consistent way of getting yourself in here in the grave to get the combos going. Now, that's the Amatrix Synchro. We'll quickly talk about this Synchro. Level 9 requires two tuners and one non-tuner. That's insane. Usually it requires two non-tuners and one tuner. This is two tuners. On summon, banish up to three monsters on your opponent's field or graveyard. Also, if this card is destroyed, you can special summon one of the banished cards onto your side of the field. So we'll get into how you could summon that later after we uh, look at the rest of the cards. I don't want to confuse you. The tuners of this deck. So far, we only know about Sulfonir and two Synchros. All the tuners have a quick effect to Synchro on your opponent's turn for a machine-type Synchro only. We have the level one tuner. The level one tuner on your opponent's turn can use a non-tuner from your hand to Synchro Summon. The level two, Citri, can use a non-tuner from your graveyard to Synchro Summon. You must banish itself and the monster using the Synchro after the Synchro. Christron Ryan is level three. Instead of using from the hand or grave, Ryan will use a non-tuner from the banish pile. So after you use Citri and banish itself plus a Smiger, we'll talk about that in a second, you could then follow up with Ryan on your opponent's turn to use one of your banished non-tuners to sink or Shokan with Ryan. I'm probably only going to play Citri. Maybe one Ryan would be good. I like Citri at three. Here's an, a sample extra deck of what it could look like. Citri plus a Smiger equals Amatrix, which we know is the 2500 attack. Put all monsters into D defense very powerful ryan plus a level three smiger equals an insectron which is the level six machine type synchro it doesn't really have a good effect just 2500 attack so after you use smiger with citri you can then follow up with ryan to make a level six insectron not a great follow-up but whatever or you could use citri plus sulfonir so mainly you only know about using citri to summon amatrix what if i told you you also had the option instead of summoning an Amatrex, you could summon a Beret 
onto the field. Beret. Don't tell me you forgot about Beret already. On summon, you could special summon a car curry from your deck. So if you want, you could play a, a small car curry tuner just to add to the deck. You could summon this quite consistently. And also, once per turn, you could target any card in the field to change battle position. So if you want this over Amatrix, think about it. Those are the synchro options with all the tuners pretty much. Now let's talk about the non-tuners. All the non-tuners share the same effect of once per turn, you could target a face-up card you control, including itself, destroy it, then summon a tuner. So Sulfonir could summon any Crystron from the deck. Well, the non-tuners, instead of summoning any Crystron from the deck, can only summon a tuner Crystron. They also all have an effect where they could banish itself from the grave for an effect. Is an ignition effect in main phase one. Crystron Smiger, level three. This is the best one. Its second effect is trash. It's to add a spell slash trap, which they are all trash. So your main card to combo with your Citri to summon an Amatrax. We already know about this. Sulfonir, summon Smiger, Smiger, summon Citri. Citri on your opponent's turn, summon an Amatrax. Just like that. Crystron, level two non-tuner. Not that good. It's the only card that isn't a one-card sinker, according to Dulling. Hmm, I believe him. I'm probably not going to use this. Level four. Remember, all of them could destroy a card to special summon a tuner from the deck. Level four can make level six Insectron, which is not that great. Meh. Mostly, this Rosenix is only good as an additional Sulfonir card to discard from your hand. So after you're playing three Citri and three Smiger, if you want to play more, or Christron's the discard for your Sulfonir combo. This is the card you're gonna run to as an additional card to discard in addition to like a Rion. Now the spell slash traps, the field spell sucks, gives plus 300 attack. You draw a card in the end phase after synchro summoning. No, thank you. And Christron entry is crap because number one, it requires a tuner in the hand and or grave, or its second effect requires a Citron on the field for an effect that helps you get a Citron on the field, but you already have a Citron on the field, so you probably don't even need this. It can be searched for with Smiger. Smiger, like I said, has the effect of Banish to search for a spell slash trap. So if you have an extra Smiger that you don't want to use at your Citri, maybe you want to include one, probably not. Room is tight. You want that Treacherous Trap hole. You know it. Now this deck, the Synchros, are water. So you could be used with Citadel Whale. Gen X Undyne. If you're using Undyne to send the Sulfonir, why not also use it with the Whale? Whale, Whale, Whale. Love it. Water, water, water. It's all water, water, water. Now let's go back to the super duper Christron Aquarion. Now that you know all the tuners and non-tuners, this crazy boss monster that on Synchro Summon will banish up to three monsters your opponent control. I will show you a gameplay visual of how it happens. You could use Citri plus Citri plus a Sulfonir or Citri plus Citri plus an Amatrax to summon it. Another way is Diva summon Diva, then special summon a Sulfonir. And that is your level nine Christrion Aquarion. I will definitely try this at least for YouTube. That's a crazy, crazy highlight deep sea diva on normal summon special summon a level three or lower sea serpent from your deck onto the field will just be summoning itself to get this combo going now on to the gameplay combos let's do it so what we could do here is we could literally just discard smiger special summon self near self near destroy itself then special summon a smiger then smiger we activate its ignition effect to destroy itself to then search the deck for a citri citri is now in the field now we end our turn our opponent is going balls to the wall on us he is summoning triple blue eyes white dragon don't ask me how or why he summoned blue eyes blue eyes blue eyes we're screwed he goes into the battle phase he attacks in on us on us the fool my little citri is being attacked into we're gonna activate citri effect to special summon smiger onto the field from the grave then we're gonna synchro shokan they're gonna get banished so goodbye citri goodbye smiger come forth amatrix amatrix on summon gonna put blue eyes blue eyes blue eyes into defense 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 everything in defense so now we have amatrix if destroyed by battle or card effects will be able to special summon any christron back onto the field and on summon puts all special summon monster your opponent controls into defense that was lit now let me go back on that combo let's take it back let's take these backsies so we still have this field everything's back to normal we still did the turn one play instead he's only attacking with one Blue eyes, white dragon. One blue eyes, the fool! Swings in with the single blue eyes. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna change up the combo. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it. Citri effect, activate. Special summon a Sulfonir from the grave. Synchro Shokan, five plus two. We're gonna summon a beret. 
Beret effect. Activate. Summon. A. Nishpachi. Nishpachi on summon. Change the Blois White Dragon to defense. That's a combo. That's a combo. And then you draw for your turn, and you got a field like this. You can make some Synchro Shokan with the Nishpachi. You can make like a level eight if you have enough Synchro space. You can make a level six. You can make another level six. That's some cool combos you could do right here, right now. That's nuts. That's very cool. I like it. Well, let's go back to our regular play. Hope you liked that. So we have Sulfonir in the grave. We have Citri, and we summoned an Amatrax onto the field by banishing the Citri and the Smiger. So what we're going to do now is we drew for our turn. We drew a Smiger. I'm probably going to play beatdown. We're 2,500 attack, and the Blue Eyes is 2,500 defense. So the main thing we probably want to do here is we could activate Sulfonir by discarding Smiger to special summon Sulfonir from the grave. Then we could use Sulfonir to view the deck and special summon a level three Rion. Rion! Now if we want, we could normal summon Undyne and then make an, an instant Insectron. Or we could end our turn after destroying and we went in like that. Now in his main phase or battle phase, we could activate Rihan. Rehan effect is going to grab a banished non-tuner, special summon on the field, and then Synchro Shokan on your opponent's turn. The Synchro materials go back in the deck, back in the deck, back in the deck, and that is an Insectron. Love it! Just like that! Now, demonstration number two is going to be summoning the Super Duper Synchro. The ultimate Christron Quarion Gandrix. On summon, banish up to three monsters your opponent control from the grave and or on the field, and if anything happens to your Quarion, it will summon any of the Banish monsters, yours or theirs, one onto your side of the field. So what's a good way to summon this through normal gameplay? Well, we're, let's summon Scrap Recycler. Let's view our deck. Let's send a Sulfonir to the grave. Let's activate Sulfonir by discarding a Smiger. Special summon onto the field. This is a turn one play, by the way. We now have Sulfonir on the field. Sulfonir, destroy itself. We're going to view the deck. Special summon a Smiger. Smiger on the field. We're going to activate its effect to destroy itself. View the deck. And then and we're gonna have a Citri on the field. Now we got Citri on the field, we pass. Now our opponent goes, he summons, he attacks in a Scrap Recycler with a normal summon monster, okay? And then he attempts to end his battle phase. Within the battle phase or with a special summon monster, he attacks in a Citri, we're gonna activate Citri effect. Citri is going to grab Smiger from the grave, special summon it, Synchro Shokan for an Amatrix. Amatrix is now on the field, putting the special summon monster in to defense. If he has one, now it's our turn again. This is our field right now. We have a Citri. We're gonna normal summon Citri. We're going to use Sulfonir to discard any Chris Strong card from our hand. Special summon Sulfonir. Sulfonir destroy itself. View the deck. Special summon a Citri. That's it. Synchro! Shokan! Two plus two plus five! equals Christron Quarion. Banish three monsters on the field and or in the graveyard. Love it. Poggers, YouTube, yes. And um, that's pretty much how the deck works. That's pretty much it. It's all about Sulfonir, summon your Amatrex, and then maybe if you're really lucky, you could summon a Quarion. Probably never ever gonna happen. And then you just get creative. Just remember, you have to summon machine type synchros with the tuner effect to summon on your opponent's turn.